where you want it. Bay 12, please. Hello there, Transformers fans, and welcome back to another Bay 12 video review. And today we are reviewing the new Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition number 2, Deluxe Class Barricade from the Transformers War for Cybertron video game. Honestly, this is the figure out of the three from Wave 1 I was looking forward to the most. And here's why. Not because I prefer Barricade over Bumblebee or Optimus Prime, but it's specifically because he's the first new character that Hasbro has produced from this video game. There has not been a single other Barricade release from War for Cybertron from any of the previous lines and generations, third party, or anything else. This is the first Barricade ever for War for Cybertron. Not that he was a super standout character or a really cool character, which he is a cool character and he is fun to play as, but he's only in really one mission of the game. He doesn't really make very many other appearances throughout, and if you're going to choose between Megatron, Brawl, and Barricade, odds are you're probably going to pick Megatron or Brawl, and most likely it's Megatron. I know I play as Megatron most of the time, and then throughout the rest of the game, he gets replaced by Breakdown, who is still pretty cool. I mean, plays exactly the same as Barricade. They have some design similarities, and I hope that we get Breakdown sometime in the near future, too. But the reason I was most excited about Barricade, aside from all of that other stuff, is because it gave me hope that... Since Hasbro, in the very first three figures we got in the Gamer Edition, Barricade is a new figure. He's not a new mold of a previously released character. They could have just put Megatron in the first three as well and saved Barricade for later and got fans excited that way. But rather than that, they put a new character first. And I love that. I am so excited, which, like I said, gives me hope that maybe that will get a lot of the other characters that we hope to see in this line sometime in the near future, probably sooner than later. So that's why I love this figure so much. That's why I was looking forward to it the most was because it's a truly new character to the toy line. We've had other releases of Optimus. We've had other releases of Bumblebee and Megatron, but we hadn't had another Barricade yet. So here he is in the packaging. You've got some awesome artwork of Barricade right there. There's the open window. You've got a close-up of Barricade and a more full shot of Barricade right there. On the back, there's images of the figure, and that's pretty much it for the packaging. And he, of course, comes with a Studio Series backdrop. This one appears to be the Streets of Iacon from the third Decepticon mission in the game, which he is not in. So I think it's odd that they went with the Streets of Iacon for his backdrop, considering the mission you play Barricade in is Trypticon Station. So not a bad backdrop. I actually really like this backdrop a lot. It just doesn't really fit Barricade well, because like I said, he wasn't on that mission. That was, that was Breakdown. So, eh, still cool though. And here he is out of the packaging, and he looks awesome. He, he's a little bit more plain of the three when it comes to detail, but he still turned out very, very cool. As far as his head goes, I kind of wish his head came cast in like a gunmetal gray plastic, a little bit of a darker gray than the overall rest of the gray of the figure, or at least if they had just done like a metallic silver wash or gray wash over the head, that would have been nice break up that solid black a little bit because his head's not necessarily solid black in the game. It kind of looks like a dirty gunmetal gray color. His chest looks really cool. I like the purple paint on the inside. There's the Decepticon symbol right there in the middle. On his back, he does have that big, awesome engine that he that's actually very game accurate to the back of his car and, of course, on his actual back in game. Fully articulated head is on a ball joint. Fully articulated shoulders, which are also on a ball joint. Upper biceps, single jointed elbows. Wrists are on a ball joint, mostly due to transformation, but it's still nice to have. Waist articulation, hips, upper thigh, single jointed knees. Forward and back on the ankles, mostly due to transformation. This is one of the first figures produced in a while that doesn't have side to side ankle articulation. So that's kind of strange. Luckily they put the feet at kind of an angle. So if you spread his legs just a little bit, he should stand just fine. 
You can also, of course, swap out his forearm with his Nucleon rifle, which I love. And of course, you can swap that out with any of the other weapons that came with Bumblebee or Optimus as well, and vice versa. Now, this was one of my more go-to weapons. This is, of course, the default weapon that he comes with. Brawl also starts off with this weapon. I personally, in the game, my favorite weapon combo was the Nucleon Rifle and the Thermo Rocket Launcher. That, those were my two favorites. You can also store either his weapon or his forearm on his back, depending on which one you have equipped at the time. And before we get to transformation, here he is with Soundwave. This is the Voyager class Fall of Cybertron Soundwave. Now, scale-wise, I prefer this Soundwave over the Deluxe class War for Cybertron Soundwave because that Soundwave was just way too tiny. Now, this one, he's, he's a little bit big. Barricade is pretty small in game, but I don't think he's quite this small next to Soundwave, but I do really like this Soundwave and it's very likely and by very likely, almost certainly Hasbro is going to do a new sound wave with actual screen accurate cassettes in the upcoming studio. I mean, I hope we get sound wave and at least laser beak together. And then later on, of course, maybe we get the core class release of the rest of the cassettes, Rumble, Frenzy. Actually, those are the only other two that appeared in the games. And, you know, hopefully Hasbro just does stylized versions of the other cassettes too. I'm not gonna hold my breath on it, mostly because, like I said, only Rumble and Frenzy also appeared outside of Laserbeak in either game, so there you go. Transformation is very simple. We're gonna start by opening up these forearm panels right here. You're going to rotate that wrist all the way around and then you're going to push it in and close that panel back up. Same thing over here, open that up, rotate, fold in and close that up. Next, we're going to rotate that whole forearm section right there and then line it up like so. Do the same thing over here. Rotate that all the way around, line that up like so. Next, we're going to fold up the feet. Bring down this section right here and rotate this section right here. And then there is a little tab that's gonna tab into the side of the leg like so, do the same thing over here, bring that down, bring that out, oh, wrong way, there we go. And then tab that into place. We're gonna come around, we're going to peg these leg sections together, including these, this back section right here. Next, we're going to rotate the waist all the way around. Untab this backpack section right here, extend this all the way, extend that out. And then we're gonna come over here. We're going to, on this double hinge, bring this section all the way back, tab that into place. There's the windshield section of the vehicle mode. And then we're going to bring these arms down at the shoulders tab these sections into the sides of the car. Do the same thing over here, bring that down on that hinge, tab that section in on the side of the car, and then we're going to bring this section all the way up, slide these little bits under these little bits right here on the back of the forearms. That's gonna click into place. And there we have Barricade in his vehicle mode. Very awesome looking, pretty screen accurate. Could be a little bit darker in some places on the color scheme. And the wheels could be a little bit more purple because they're supposed to be like this very bright inner John purple on the middle sections and on these intersections on the rims. But other than that, it looks pretty awesome. And then of course you've got that big engine section hanging out of the back, just like in the game, which I really like. You can also store his weapon. There's a square peg right there, and it plugs in right there on the top of the car, like so. 
And for comparison, here he is next to Fall of Cybertron Soundwave in vehicle mode, so you can see them side by side. Now in vehicle mode, their sizes are definitely much more comparable to each other, I think. And yeah, he looks awesome. And one of the things that surprised me about him is he's a decent size in deluxe mode, despite being a smaller bot. And in vehicle mode, he's very, very large. I love how big and muscle car looking he is in his alt mode. They did a fantastic job. And fingers crossed that we also get the Decepticon, Viacon soldiers, or just Decepticon soldiers, all the generic ones, because they're also very similar in design to his alt mode. And I would absolutely just love army building those guys. I mean, Hasbro could really go to town on the repaints if they want to with this, I think. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's review featuring the new Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition number two, Deluxe Barricade from the War for Cybertron video game. What'd you think of Barricade? Was he one that you were really looking forward to the most like I was, or could you take it or leave it? Were you more looking forward to Bumblebee and Optimus? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned for more Transformers reviews. Check out some of our other content here on Bay 12. Like and subscribe. Follow us on social media. And if you're looking for new Transformers figures, well, come by our shop. It's inside Order 66 Multiverse in the shops at Willowbend Mall in Plano, Texas. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Transform and roll out. Game over, man. Game over.